Hi, welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham. I'm with Scott Williamson, Managing Director of Blackstone Minerals. Scott, your project, the Little Gem Project, is in, the, is in British Columbia in Canada. Can you tell me a bit about it? Thanks, thanks Wally. Yeah, um, Little Gem was a, a discovery back in 1930s. Um, very high grade cobalt and gold. Uh, it's in a, an old mining region, uh, gold mining region, with uh, historic production of 4.4 million ounces at 18 grams per tonne gold. We're, we're looking for cobalt uh, and we have, we've, uh, our maiden drill program has commenced uh, late last year and our first drill hole intersected 3% cobalt and 44 grams per tonne gold. We're looking to get back on the ground as soon as possible to follow up on what was a great start and uh, looking forward to, to more good uh, cobalt results and uh, with gold in the, in the future. Uh, all right, so at the moment you're out there drilling or you're about to go back out there drilling. Um, what do you expect to be uh, looking at? Yeah, so we expect more of the same. Um, what we really want to understand is how big the little gem is and uh, what sort of tonnage potential we're looking at. We know we have a very high grade system um, and now we need to, to do the work and, and, and put the drill holes in and understand uh, what sort of tonnes uh, we're, we're dealing with and, and whether we've potentially got a development scenario on our hands. So uh, the little gem project in itself, you said before that it was discovered quite a, a long time ago and now all of a sudden it's relevant. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. We think that the explorers back in the 1930s were looking for gold and the reason that the, they have left this behind is because of the cobalt. So back in the 30s and, and into the 50s, cobalt would have been a deleterious element. Um, now it's all about the, the battery minerals and, and cobalt is, is what we're actually after as a primary source and, and gold um, is, is, a, is a great byproduct. But uh, we think, uh, yeah, it, it's probably the, the cobalt is the reason why the, the previous explorers uh, have left it behind. And, and you were, we've talked about this project before, and you, you were telling me that it, it, the, the geological setting of, the, of Little Gem is very similar to a, like a very big uh, uh, cobalt deposit on the other side of the world. That's right. Yeah, we think we have analogies to the Bouazir mines in Morocco. They've been mining cobalt for the last uh, 75 years, and, uh, and they're still mining cobalt today in one of the only primary cobalt mines in the world. So, um, yeah, it's, it is, we think, very similar. We've got the um, serpentinised ultramafic on the uh, contact with the quartz diorite and the exact same setting that they have in Morocco in the Bouazir. Uh, and we think we've we've got uh, we've now grabbed all the ground where that particular geological setting occurs, and we now have 48 kilometres of strike potential of, of that geological setting. So we we think we've got potential for more of this this type of mineralisation throughout our belt. Oh, great! Well, we can't wait to hear more noise coming out from British Columbia. Scott, thanks very much. Thanks, Wally. Thanks.